Thank you. We're attending the 46th annual NAACP Image Awards. This has been a star-studded evening. Congratulations to all the nominees tonight. And we'll bring you more from inside the Pasadena Convention Center, the auditorium that is. Come, stay tuned. All right, and we are on the red carpet with? Misan Sage. And she's the actual writer of the movie. Belle. And Belle, can you tell, please share with us. Um, I saw the film. It's incredible right now. Um, just real quick, where are you from? I'm actually from Nigeria, but I live in London. And, and living in London, being from Nigeria, oh my gosh. Okay, so let's get this straight and to the point. How important was it for you to tell the story of Belle? Um, between America and even Africa, even in London, in Europe, the, the story of black people in a caste system is real. So how important was it for you to share that story? I think it's very important. Um, uh, first of all, as an African, I, I don't see the, the difference between, I think we are, we're, this is our diaspora and standing here, I can almost see which tribes people here come from. So we're, we're one. And I knew that if we, I need it, we need to get our stories out there. We need to take control now of our narrative, who we are and what stories are told about us and how we're told. And I saw that in Bell, an opportunity to tell a story of, of a girl like Bell who you maybe would not, would not be told unless a black writer saw that painting and saw her as interesting and beautiful and worthy of a movie. And now um, you're here in Hollywood, you're in, you're in Hollywood right now, uh, a, a lot of talent, directors, um, actors, we're, we're talking about diversity and Hollywood is actually addressing diversity or not. And for you, because of where you come from and the type of content that you write about, how, how important do you, as an African in the diaspora, how important is it for you to share, um, not share, but how important is it for you to literally, I'm trying to get this straight without piling it up historically, <laughs> without getting into the historical background of it, mm -hmm. but how important is diversity? to be addressed here in America. It's very important. It's the reason why it's amazingly important it's addressed here is that in many ways America is the beacon for the world. If it's addressed here, it'll be addressed elsewhere. Um, what is interesting is that it may not be addressed anywhere, but at least the conversation has started here. And it's, um, and you have, I think we're, we're, we're approaching here critical mass where it will no longer, it can't be shut up again, that some, something has to happen because I think people are just not going to be bothered to take it anymore really. I think that we, we want our stories told, we want to, 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 we want to see ourselves in the round and the stories we want to have told and we want our writers to have the opportunity to tell those stories and not have people who are gatekeepers preventing these sorts of stories being made. And before you go, what's your next project? Any new things? Yes, I've got a BBC series that I'm doing. It's another historical uh, series. I mean, many people say that you, they're sort of the standard, the, the, the British historical drama. There's no black people. We were there. You, do, you, ha you only have to look at the history carefully. You'll find we were there doing great things. And uh, we, you will see that in my next project. And what's the name of it again? Uh, it's called Battersea Rise. Thank you so much.